Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to the channel. You know what? In this video, I'm going to talk to you about why I chose to try to become a hybrid athlete. Last week, I ran almost 40 miles and I went to the gym also six times. But with that being said, I'm going to get ready for the gym right now with all of my pre workout, post workout, all kinds of drinks, and who knows what. And honey, too. Honey is so important to you and a banana. Look, she's so excited about the banana. And show you my routine, and then hit the gym. No. So this right here is my first drink, and it's electrolytes. Every single morning, I drink electrolytes. And I also have another one that I just got. It's called G1M Sport. I love the company BPM. So it's this one right here. And this one really helps me with running. It has carbs and sodium. So I actually mix up one scoop of that with the electrolytes. It doesn't taste the best, but it really helps. So today, because I'm not running, I'm just gonna drink my electrolytes and then go hit chest, tries, and shoulders because these little boys need some need some help. For the post-workout protein powder, we're gonna use this organic active protein powder, which is also pretty healthy. And I always put some creatine, take take some creatine, five to seven grams of creatine in my post-workout shake. So this is the one I'm currently using. So the only reason why I'm showing you all the supplements that I take is because whenever I look up to the people that I do on YouTube, they always show me what they eat, drink, take every day, whether it's even supplements, and I love watching it. So I wanted to share with you too. And the pre-workout that I take, I kind of stopped taking pre-workouts for like two weeks. But now, because I'm running, I'm a little tired sometimes, caf caffeine really helps me. And I really like the feeling too. So bulk by Transparent Labs. I mean, I've tried so many pre-workouts and this was probably the one that gave me the most power and endurance. And at the same time, it's really clean. Like the ingredients, there's none of the nat natural flavor stuff. So, pretty good. Okay guys, so we just got those uh, honey, no, 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 relax. <laughs> relax. We just got those like honey uh, wood sticks to like eat it with. Look, as you see, it looks so good. So, and then she loves honey. And if you have a dog, as long as it's raw honey, pure raw honey. It's very healthy for your dogs. So I'm gonna give her some. You ready, Nana? You ready? Oh, look at this, guys, look at this. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. You guys can see. No, don't, don't bite it. It's just honey. Don't bite it. <laughs> What's the good stuff? We just got to the gym, which is right behind me. There's a Ferrari over there, which is pretty cool. But on the way here, I was really thinking and listening to podcasts and really trying to find out why am I recording and trying to show you guys my life, my personal life. Like a lot of people don't like to do this, don't want to do this because it's too much. I'm doing this to have accountability on myself as a person first and then show you when I become the person I respect, I fear, and I love, which are three good character um, traits of a leader, then I can show it to you too. I wanna show you my road, I wanna show you my fuck ups, I wanna show you my failures, but at the same time, I wanna show you me going from here to here. I used to be almost 230 pounds, now I'm in 195-ish, and I want to go even lower, but at the same time, become stronger. So 
I hope this inspires you. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead to the gym right now, but really think about yourself too. Why are you watching this video right now? Why are you watching me? And maybe that means that you don't wanna do the nine to five. You don't wanna do the college and all that stuff that everybody else is doing. If you go with everybody else, you're gonna end up where everybody else is ending up. The nine to five, the two weeks out of the year vacation, I don't want that and I don't deserve that. I deserve to go every single day, wherever I want, to work on businesses and build businesses that I am passionate about. Fitness, mindset, self-development, self-help, all of those things that gets me out of bed every single day. So find something that you like. For me, I'm a little confused right now, but the gym, fitness, and becoming the person that I wanna become and inspiring other people and helping other people is what I wanna do. So with that being said, my shoulder is getting a little tired from holding this camera because it's a big one. Let's hit the gym. So, I told you guys, I wasn't lying. The Ferrari right there. While I'm sipping on my protein shake after my chest push day workouts, I wanted to talk and tell you guys why I'm trying to become a hybrid athlete. And that is simply because I feel like the older I get, the more I want to do things. And I'm not as young as I used to be anymore. And I really want to push myself 
and have good bones, you know, feel good, go running, go biking, be able to do whatever it is that I want to do and not just be strong, like physically huge, but also be able to go running too. So if you feel like you're going only to the gym just to get big, that shouldn't be the only reason. It's also to help you, your mindset. And because I hate running, so when I complete running or biking or anything like that, like cardio wise, I am proud of myself. So we just got back to the home. I already meditated with Lynn and I feel so much better. If you guys haven't meditated or haven't, you know, done in a long time, I should, I, I, I would really recommend you doing it. It helped me realign with what my purpose is, with what I want to do. Also, just got new clothes from my mom. The kind of, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them, but they kind of look decent. Not bad. It's just that like, you can see the whole like nipple thing, you know? <laughs> Too much. Anyway, this is going to be my breakfast. It is, what time is it right now? 2 or 4. And I'm not as hungry only because I had caffeine and I'm used to it. Not eating breakfast until very late. So we got 1.1 pounds of steak. We also have some cucumber and carbs, so rice, also big thing. Make sure you have a rice cooker because that would literally save you a lot of time. But hybrid athlete, you know, I'm gonna show you some clips of me running as well. Because I do run. Actually, you know what? Let me show you a proof that I run. What I like to do is I usually go on my Nike app and I can just show you that yes, I do run. You can see all of my, so this is my split for this week, no, this month. So my average currently is 926. The most I've done was like a six point something miles. Like for example, this one, 6.4, 915 average under one hour. And my goal is to be at under eight minutes and do 10 plus miles. Well, the big goal is to do a marathon. So I think with the food and everything that I'm doing, I'm just taking you one step at a time, just showing you a little bit more of my life. And at the same time, I'm going to show you my lows, my highs, just overall more of my life so you'll feel more connected with me because that's what I like to see in YouTubers. You know, I don't want to see the fancy stuff and the best of everything. I want to see the downfalls too, like all the bad stuff. And now it's the next day. It is a Tuesday, beautiful day. And yes, I'm wearing different clothes, but we're going to go to Ice Recovery, which is here in Pacific Islands Ranch. They have like the ice machines and stuff for recovery. I've never been, but I thought, you know what? Why not? go check out the property or like the place and because I know the owner so he's gonna hook us up okay so we are here at Ice Recovery and Wellness in Carmel Valley and this is my first time here so you will see kind of like the process and what they have to offer can you tell me a little bit of why people should consider trying to come to Ice Recovery and how, the benefits of it absolutely so this is his first time here trying our services so I'm gonna walk him through the whole yeah. process <laughs> you guys will get to see that um, why should people do recovery um, and everything like that well if you're on a wellness journey and you're trying to better yourself most people are always go 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 right we never think about slowing down letting your body recover and eventually that's going to catch up to you so this is our lounge area this is where Courtney our nurse does her IVs um, we do the Normatec here which I think would be really good for you as well Normatec helps swelling soreness flush out lactic acid after a workout yeah. so you're not sore the next day yeah it basically feels like a massage um, you can try that today too if you want, it's about 20-30 minutes. Um, I'll show you the back crowd room because that's on. Um, we have two rooms. These are the infrared saunas. That is um, really nice guys. Look these are that. badass. TV in here. Wow. Makes it a little bit easier. You're not just staring at a wall watching paint dry. How long would you recommend going in? I recommend 20 to 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, so infrared's a little different than like your sauna uh, crunch where it heats in around you. This is going to heat you directly. 
So it's a greater penetration of the soft tissue, so you're getting a greater detox in your sweat, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit more comfortable, so you can sit there longer. And also because of the red light, exactly. it's like really good for you. Great for your skin, helps cell turnover, um, and it's just like, if you're a stressed person, like I'm a very high stressed person, I try and sit in the sauna a lot because it's yeah. relaxing, yeah. things like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the sauna. All right, all right. Just dressing rooms where you'll change to get ready for cryo. This is the holy grail right here. This is my best friend. This is your best friend. This is my best friend. So, okay. look, and I got nothing against ice baths, cold plunge. I think those are great too, if you have the time. Alex said earlier, time is money. I believe that too. Time this is money. convenient, three minutes. You don't get out, you're not wet. But basically, you're, you're gonna stand in here. It's neck down. They use this liquid nitrogen right here. It's gonna burst below freezing cold air. Oh my God. At you. Um, That's nice. Yeah, it's amazing. That's you get nice. out and you feel like super. Yeah. The first time is like the worst because you don't know what to expect. Some people get a little anxious and whatnot. Then you do it one time and you're like, oh, that wasn't fucking bad at all. I've done ice bath yeah. for like five minutes. Uh huh. And when I got out, I thought I was dying. Yeah. Like it was horrible. It's brutal. But then once you get over it, like you're like, man, this feels so good. 100%. It's better than you're like gonna love anything this. else. You're going to love this. All right, let's do it, man. Cool. Yeah. All right, I'm going to walk him through the process of getting ready and then you guys can get a little little action up in there. Um, um, when it's done, you'll jump up here. I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing, and I'm wow. actually standing right here and walking you through it. Wow. It's easy, it's fun. I know, I can see this. I'm a geek when it comes to this stuff, so if I start geeking out, I'm sorry, but <laughs> you know, I'm passionate about it. No, so. this is good, man. All right, so he's gonna jump up here. You can see he's got his slippers, socks, slippers, gloves on. Why we do that is your extremities, all your blood rushes to your core, so in cold air like this, you can get frostbite in your fingertips and in really? your toes. Yeah. So, you ready? Yeah. Let's have fun. All right, just watch your step jumping up there. I'm going to raise you up a little bit. Like I said, it's just neck down. Take deep breath. I'm from Russia. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Russia, we, we, just, we just <laughs> jump in the lake, you know, break the ice, jump in. Dude, that's such gnarly. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Three minutes. So you're going to notice the gas comes out behind you. Yeah. So every 30 seconds, I'm going to have you do just a quarter turn, just do a full 360. When I'm in there, I do this. I'm a little baby. Yeah. I'm gonna help with the gloves. So you're from America. Exactly. Yeah. And, and America, I'm from San Diego. <laughs> we don't do cold here. <laughs> um, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's We actually have different levels. So the higher level you go, the cold the temperature is. Yeah. Everyone's first time just to get a feel for it and stuff. Level one. It's yeah. gonna be cold. Well, it was this right now. Level one. This is level one. So it's gonna gradually get a little colder. You'll yeah. re reach the max temperature and then you just go. How long is it going to be like the max temperature? Probably about a minute and a half. A minute and a half. Yeah. Yep. Not too bad. Shivering's normal. That'll start later. Um, it's actually a process you want to happen until your body is going into thermogenesis. Yeah. Um, your brown fat is getting activated, which helps your body burn white fat. Ooh, this is feeling yeah. slowly. It's starting to get crisp. Yeah, right? a little Doing crispy, great. you know? Yeah. <laughs> How do you taste towards the snowflakes over there? You got it though? You're doing great. Most people are freaking out their first time, so really? he's a pro. <laughs> you'll have to, you know, monitor how you feel. The first time you'll feel good for a couple hours after you're out. Woo! And then it's a consistency thing, right? And everything's consistency. I think it's all about like controlling your mindset when you're doing this. It's all and not thinking about how bad it is, but thinking about how good you're gonna feel afterwards. So I'll have you come towards the screen here. I'm really curious to see if she's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's getting ready. Let's do it. Come on. All right, you can come towards me. A little bit over a minute. You all right? Yeah, you Last time it's hard. It's badass. I mean, it's the technology behind it is, is super cool. So the guy who invented this, he was a Japanese rheumatologist, and cold therapy obviously is very good for arthritis. You know, yeah. there's inflammation. His mom had really bad for arthritis, but she wouldn't do cold water. Mm -hmm. So he actually came up with the science of using cold air to reap the same benefits as cold water mm -hmm. for her. She started doing this, and then the sports industry stole it, all that stuff. So, all right, man, final 30 seconds. We'll get a little bit crispier here, but then you're done. Whew. Doing all right? Yeah, this is. <laughs> it's all white mindset. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is nice. You crushed it, guys. 20 seconds. Oh, yeah. Great. What'd you work out today? The hit was a uh, head workout, and then okay. I did thigh, bodies, and back. Gotcha. Because today is 
cool day. Okay, nice. So, all right, man, just under 10 seconds. You, your feet will still start lowering, and then I'll pop that door open. Nice. Just watch your step coming down. You might get a little stiff. Good job, champ. Uh, Woo! That was good. This is not bad. Like, nice nice bad, man. Right? This and is it's faster, bad. so, like, yeah. I think that helps with the mental part, too, because you know you're going to be yeah. done faster than when you're in ice. <laughs> the biggest thing, too, is, like, you're not soaking wet right now. So mm. it doesn't take forever to warm back up. Mm. Um, is it the same benefits, the same everything? Yeah. Really? Yep. I, like I was saying up there, I think, and I don't know, it's different for everyone. Like some people think this is harder than an ice bath, some people think ice bath is really? harder. I think the ice bath is harder, just oh, yeah. a tub full of ice is yeah. mentally harder. Yeah. So if you're really trying to like, you know, they say self-activating stress on the body is good for stress in the future. I feel tingly. I, yeah. I feel like I'm back in Russia. There you go. <laughs> You'll like, feel, feel like the, the pins and needles for a little bit and then run all away and uh, be rocking and rolling. I feel like my dopamine levels are like really high right now. Yeah. In like a positive way. Like, you know, not the video games and stuff, but like this. Yeah. Really good. So we just finished the recovery and honestly, being a hybrid athlete or any type of athlete, I think recovery is so important and I liked it. It was pretty cold, but I feel pretty good. It feels very similar to like an ice bath, colder in a way, but my wee wee didn't feel cold. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that felt pretty good. But yeah, if you guys want, I'm gonna leave the information of this property or like this place so you guys can go check it out. But with that being said, this was a nice video to make. And until next time, das Vidania. <laughs>